Hey, welcome into the Cycling Fanatic Halftime Show. Matt Van Winkle, Chris Williams, Jared Stansberry from Hilton Coliseum. Uh, here to break down um, in a, a first half. We'll just leave it at that, a first half of, of basketball. I want to thank our sponsors, Fairway Meat and Grocery. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. We got to thank our kill Cody Road, too. Chris, so you're, you're pouring I, some whiskey. I'm pointing out that we all need Cody Road right now after that half of basketball. Fair enough. Fair enough. We want to thank our sponsor, Ames and Des Moines Art Eye Care as well. Eye Care for the whole family. Iowa State trailing Kansas State 40 to 26 at the half. Um, as I said, a first half of basketball was not, a, was not anything exciting. Um, lots of sloppy play. Um, Jared, I think we just want to toss it to you um, to get kind of a feel for the team right now. Uh, how things are looking from eye level at Hilton Coliseum. Um, what did you see there from the Cyclones in the first half, Jared? Uh, I'll just say that something that is supposed to be resembling basketball is supposed to have played here tonight. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, when you're in a situation where – here, I'm pulling up the last stats. Where you're in a situation where you turn the ball over 13 times in uh, – 35 possessions, you score on 12 possessions, but the other team, you know, even though they turned the ball over, what? How many times they turned over? 11, shot 52% from the field, went four, mm -hmm. four, made four threes, and you went 10 of 10 from the free throw line, you're going to be losing. Uh, yeah. And, I mean, right now, when you look at just the sheer number of wide open baskets that Kansas State is getting, whether that's off of offensive rebounds uh, mm -hmm. or open threes, I mean, Everything that I think that we saw on on Friday in Iowa City yeah. that could even be considered somewhat positive, you know, we've talked about it in the, on the halftime show that night. Some of the things they were mm -hmm. doing as far as activity and stuff like that, yeah. like none of that is there. It, even Kansas State's mistakes have more often than not been Kansas State just doing something stupid. Uh, I don't know. This is this has been tough to watch. And if something doesn't drastically change for Iowa State in the second half, then it's going to be a long night. Is all I'm going to say. Yeah, Chris, you had eight turnovers from Iowa State in the first eight minutes of the game. That wasn't a, obviously a good start. And you got, I guess, if you're looking for a bright spot in that first half, you had Xavier Foster came off the bench, who gave you a few good minutes, had a nice steal. But it, but then after that, Kansas State went on a 13 to zero run, and it just kind of took all that <laughs> the momentum away from Iowa State after that. So. There was really no chance for Iowa State to really build on anything. Um, anytime they tried to get something going on offense, for sure, Bolton had a couple nice buckets. Uh, he had a couple threes, but it was there was really not a chance to get anything, any momentum. Right. Okay. Right? Listen, like what it looks like to me, it looks just like a bunch of guys running around out there. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it looks like to me tonight. I, I haven't thought um, in a thirty-point loss to Iowa that they looked better in that game mm -hmm. than what <laughs> they do. And I mean, in this one, I mean, they're down, they're losing by more to Kansas state than they were Iowa um, on the road. And, but granted there was, I, I don't know. Like the reason I say that is, listen, I, I don't like doing this. I, I love Iowa state. I, I want them to come around. I actually, I do believe there are some talented guys on this roster, but it doesn't look like, um, Jared, they don't look in cohesion at all uh, on either side. I mean, some of the turnovers you referenced just were just um, me meaningless. Um, and then, like, just help defense is really bad. Um, they look like they've never seen a pick and roll. I don't know. I hate being this negative and um, this early. With a really young, wait, they're not young, but they're inexperienced, right? But like, yeah. I just this to me, it's team, like, I'm, I'm Kansas State leadership, right? Like, yeah, like, like I, like, why can't Rasier Bolton take over this game? Like, he, there's no reason he can't go out there and get. I, like, I like, thought he, they would get killed by Iowa. I actually yeah. thought Iowa State would win this game by double digits tonight, and God, yeah. I couldn't have been they, more wrong. Yeah, maybe they'll come back, right. Jared. Basketball wise, though, I mean. That it does, it does, there's no cohesion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and I, I think that you were absolutely spot on. It just looks like a bunch of guys out there. And this is what I think. You know, I told you after the South Dakota game, first 
things that we're seeing that were alarming to me because there's an element of where, like, I know that if you haven't played together like that, it's tough to, you know, get caught up a little bit, especially with the shortened offseason or preseason prep period that they had. But there are certain things that you, if you're at this point in your life as a basketball player, you should just know. And that's where when you talk about the health defense and things like that, like, you should know where to be on the floor, you know, or you should know to box out on a rebound. And we just don't see that consistently from this team. And it's kind of frustrating about them. It's just like, and you see the mistakes from the same people. It's Solomon Young making weird mental mistakes that you're like, yeah. Solo, you played, you played in 100 basketball games at Iowa State. Are we getting to a That's- point, though? Like, why, like, Foster comes in and has some pretty good run. Two yeah. games. Why, like, just play him. Like, uh, yeah, I, I mean, is is a fan watching this? Like, I'd rather see that guy screw up than the same thing we've seen and isn't working. I don't. Know. I mean, at this point, what what have you seen from George Condit this season that justifies him getting? I mean, minutes he play? Even if he only, he only played three minutes, what have you seen from him that justifies him getting three minutes? And I, you know, like, I love George, and I, I, I thought too. George. He's one of my was, favorite kids out there. Yeah, I. No, but it's just, there's something that is very seriously wrong for him right now on the floor. And he just it, – it has not clicked for him the way that it, it needed to going into his junior year. And, the thing, like, Solo, you know, I think they're better when he's in there, they're on offense. But the offense is so stagnant when he's out there too because having him on the block all the time basically completely eliminates driving lane. At this point, I'd rather see where you put Foster out there. At least he has the threat to potentially shoot the basketball. I don't know how well he can do that consistently, but you can put him in the pick and roll and you can do some things with the pick and pop that it might open some stuff up. I mean, I I just don't think that the way that this team looks right now on both ends, they don't have any cohesion. I don't think that they really are comfortable in what they're trying to do. And I don't know. I mean, it, it like I said, it's going to take a pretty drastic change for Iowa State in this second half for them to eliminate a 14-point lead. Like Kansas State is going to slow the ball out, is going to slow the ball down. Yeah. They're going to take the complete, completely take the air out of the game. So I think they have to figure out a way to either continue to force turnovers and make them live ball turnovers where they can get transition opportunities, or they're just going to have to get really hot and shoot the ball well. And yeah, you, you know, you're going to need a few threes to cut it, cut that yeah. lead down. And I think the thing too is like I know you guys talked earlier in the week. It's like you haven't seen a complete game from this team all season. I mean, they've only had a few games, but if there was ever a game to have a complete you know, offensive and defensively solid performance. This was the game you hoped it would be against the worst team in the conference. This, this Iowa is, State's making a case to be the worst team in the conference after this game. They, they I, I mean, I, I don't think they'll be favored in another Big 12 game this season. I mean, the way it looks right now. Yeah. There's Kansas State literally lost to a winless D2 team less than, two, less than a week ago. Like, this, this, it's not like Kansas State all- – you know, comes in here some world leaders. Like, yeah. they're playing completely out of character. So maybe Kansas State will come back to the mean a little yeah. bit of what they've been so far. I was just going to suggest that we all let's, – let's see the last 20 minutes here and, um, may, you know. But, yeah, that, that was a really bad first half. That was a really bad first half. Jared, we're having a hard time hearing you now that the band's back. But thanks, yeah, man. We appreciate it. Um, Jared Stansbury there. It's Hilton. good to have some perspective down at Hilton. No, I, mean, I love it. Like that's what yeah. I love about this, Matt. These yeah. these interactive halftime shows, and we can For bounce sure. around. And I think it's like great. you're not the only one drinking at half. So I, this is my first drink. Well, um, I wasn't gonna drink tonight, and then they got down 14. Once it was, um, hey, once we got double digits, I was like, I'm pouring the Cody Road. Hey, can we just shout out the women though? Beat you yeah. tonight, sixty-seven, sixty-one. That's a that's a bright spot in the day, right? It was a good win too because Ashley Jones was in single digits, which never happens, and they were able to um, weather that storm on the road. That was a good win, and then the football team mm-hmm. is ranked sixth yep. in the country in the college football playoff rankings. And what the what the crap is going on with Reese Davis? I didn't see. What did he say? He just crap it all over Iowa State the entire show. Literally just – I mean, it was just one one shot at the clones after another. Well, but, I uh, see that Gary Barta had some comments about Iowa State and Coastal Carolina, why Co- why Iowa State's ranked higher. Give me a break. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's really exciting times, though. And, uh, hey, yeah. Jared and I are heading to Dallas. National Signing Day is tomorrow. 
there you football go. as well. So this is – Don't let this um, game get you down. Yeah, and quite possibly <laughs> this is the busiest week I think we've ever experienced since I've been with Cyclone Fanatic, and uh, it's exciting though. Well, um, it, here's the one good thing. Like in the past, um, we've been like all like flustered because football was bad and then you, you know, you had to wait for basketball. At least with a bad basketball right now, we can look mm -hmm. ahead and know we have like three more weeks of having like a top 10 football season. And then you kind of yeah. deal with the basketball stuff. So sure. look, I, I, I started off negative. I had a couple shots at Cody Road. Now I'm feeling good. <laughs> That's right. Hey, we'll, we'll look for some content, some more content from you guys tomorrow, signing day. Uh, you guys yeah. are heading down to, to Texas on Thursday, so uh, stay tuned to Cyclone Fanatic for all that coverage. Yeah, we're, we're leaving bright and early on uh, Thursday morning, and we'll have content. And land jet, baby. Yep, on the land jet, and we'll, we'll have content for you guys all day on Friday, and look forward to Saturday. Let's do well, it. Hey, we, know, we know people care because we had when we started this, there were over 500 people that tuned in. So, uh, yeah, we know you guys great. care. We, that's that's I what Iowa it. State fans do, man. We, we stick through it thick and thin, right? We're we're not we're not gonna. That's why I always tell our staff we're we don't stop covering the team when they're not good. Uh, right. we, we cover them more, uh, because that's what Iowa State fans want. They they love their cyclones, and so do we. And that's why maybe we get a little Riley here, but um, trying not to be too. Overly negative. Hopefully they come out in the second half and hit some shots and stop turning the ball over. I know they're better than that for I actually I guess I can't say I know. I, I don't. I think that they are and I think Kansas State that's probably the best twenty they've played all year. Hopefully it kind of reverts back. I'm not gonna hold my breath, but we'll see. All right. Thanks, Chris. Thanks to Thank Jerry you, from, from Hilton. Uh well, have fun watching the second half, guys. We'll see you later. Thank you.